Today, home gen is at Hiram Bay. And we are really excited to show you this four bedroom ground floor dual key unit right here in Aogang because it has a huge size of 1819 square feet and only going for 1.65 mil, which works out to be 900 PSF for a five years development. And if this excites you, stay tuned, I will show you the unit in a bit. Quick introduction on the location, Heron Bay is at the intersection of Upper Serangoon Road and Upper Serangoon Crescent with Pongo Park which is 5 minutes walk away. There is F&B outlet and bicycle rented at the park. The residents here will get their daily staff from the neighbourhood retail shop at Cape View across the street, less than 1 minute walk from the side gate. There are supermarket, food court, bakery and restaurants. We are just two bus stops away to Aogang MRT station and bus interchange and this is where you want to head over to Aogang Mall for a wider range of products and services. Heron Bay is a low density development with only 394 units but the facilities are not compromised. We still get to enjoy standard facilities like 50 meter lap pool, tennis court, terpanyaki pits, gym, aqua gym and function room. So it was launched as an EC in 2012 and recently met its MOP minimum occupation period in October 2020 last year. So if you do not know yet, just like any other BTO, it has to satisfy the MOP before it can actually market their unit in the resale market. So what is so special and rare about this unit is because in 2013, government actually released a regulation stating that the maximum floor area to be built in an EC unit must not be bigger than 160 square meter or 1721 square feet and not only the size government actually implement another regulations on the new sales of dual key EC units to multi-generation families only so in today's context if you were to buy an EC dual key unit from the developer directly you will have to satisfy family nucleus condition by buying together with a married child or your parents in order to meet the requirements so this is not easy to satisfy and that could be one of the reasons we don't see developer building dual key units nowadays. And that means it's almost impossible to actually find an EC dual key with 1721 square feet and above. And in Heron Bay, we have four of such units, two facing outwards and two facing inwards. And if you prefer a quiet facing, we have what you need. So let's start from the balcony which is the highlight of the house. Our house is actually 1819 square feet. Comparing with the unit upstairs which is 1389 square feet, the difference of 430 square feet actually goes to the additional space in the patio. So our balcony actually stretches from the master bedroom all the way to the studio. So you can see that our patio is very big so you do not have to debate over the usage of the patio whether it should be a alfresco dining, a children's play area or a place for you to chill out because you can have it all right here and to top it off you have your private jacuzzi pool right there so currently we are at the common foyer here so the space is just right for a shoe cabinet and some built-in storages so you see two doors here one is actually to the main unit and the other one will be to the studio so for those who do not know what is dual key dual key is actually a combination of two unit types usually a studio on one hand and on the other hand will be a one bader all the way to a four bader so for our unit is actually a four bedroom dual key will be a studio plus a three bader Dual key is really popular nowadays because you get to live together with your parents and still have your personal space. So if you wish to rent out your studio, that will also do for some passive income. So renting out a studio apartment that attached to the house is different from renting a room in the house because studio comes with your own entrance. Okay, and usually it comes with an ensuite bathroom over here. So the studio here is really spacious, it's very self-sufficient and functional as it comes with a top and lower cabinet, cooker hob, a two-door space wardrobe and definitely a good space for your washing machine and if you want to place a standalone fridge you can do that too just by shifting your TV console over here more to the left and if you want a queen size bed over here this room definitely spacious enough for you to do that so a studio like this can fetch about thousand eight per month but a room in a house probably around one thousand dollars per month only so in the main unit here, we have a very good size living hall that can fit a 3 plus 2 seater sofa and this space here, you can actually place a 4 seater dining table. 
but some owners might choose to bring the dining table out to the patio unit as our patio is huge so this area here will become a fully internal space that you can actually gather around with your family members so another good thing about ground floors you will have this high ceiling height over here to allow more sunlight to come in and improve the ventilation the owner actually done up the ceiling light and cove light over here together with the wallpaper it gives you a very warm and cozy feel so the room is actually away from the living room that gives you a bit of privacy over here and on my right there is this common room here that can fit a queen size bed if not you can actually fit a single bed with a study table so for the room on the left it's cozier so owner actually converted it to a study room but alternatively you can actually fit in a single bed as a bedroom The master bedroom is of course the biggest room of the house and the room can fit a king size bed It comes with a two door panel wardrobe For families with young children, this is a good space for baby cot and of course it comes with an ensuite bathroom So the coolest part of this master bedroom is you have direct access to the jacuzzi pool So we have an enclosed kitchen over here that comes with top and bottom cabinets with very good quality quartz top and the backsplash install over here that gives you a very modern feel and very easy for you to maintain after every cooking. So the space here has many storages for your staff and on our left there is this home shelter here, a good space for storage and towards the end we have our yard space for your washer and your dryer. And before we end this video, let's hear from Johnny. I am currently at Serangoon Park Connector, which is just wow. across the road. From here, you can cycle and jog to Pongo and Sengkang. We have come to an end of today's tour. Follow our Facebook or Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. And once again, we are Johnny and Cynthia from HomeGen, bringing you dream homes for many generations to come.